to my single chats and my non-single chats, it's time that I include some of you that have achieved mastery, okay? Bruh. Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, because after all these years, Swag doesn't even know what a radar hack is. The 9KD player is strong, independent, uh, claims that she might be Call of Shame, though. We did a video on it, but guys, clench your butt cheeks, stop rolling your fat doobies around, because uh, we, we got a situation here. I was it. recently sent an email. That claimed hackers have found a way to gain access. Guys, close your eyes, okay? She mine. She's mine, okay? To ricochet close admin features and ban anyone they want. The link directed me to a Twitter account that claimed to have this information. Okay. But it's just nonsense. This is nothing more than a spam bot. It's designed to spam report players. I'm actually hearing a lot about this. Like some of you suckers also added me on Twitter, and some of you suckers are like, "Yo, skill, you gotta just drop everything. You gotta talk about this bozo." And I'm like, "Yeah, bro, bro, like let a brother, okay? Give brother some time. Give brother some time to investigate. Come on, guys." But uh, VB got call of shame. NASA employee on it already. It even states this right here. I just don't understand the confusion. The cheaters did not gain any special admin access to Ricochet. Okay. However, I want to congratulate the Twitter hacker hunters for at least trying. It was a good effort, and nah, that's what man. counts. We got it's Hapa. Do we have Batman in it? So Mr. Soldier, that's like what the Flash. Okay, we got the Flash. It's Hapa. Who are we thinking? Hapa. Yo, what's uh, the second best director in the world after Christopher Nolan? Christopher Nolan. That's like Grandpa Hacks, right? Like it's Hapa. Bruh. We gotta think of a different name right now. I I don't have enough brain cells right now, guys. It's not about winning. It's about taking part. They just didn't understand what, what they. What? Was that bad boy? Bad boy Venus? It's not about about winning. It's You know it. You why does Superman Call of Shame always try to bring Bad Boy Beeman down like that? Why? It's about taking part. They just didn't understand what they were looking at. But that's okay. Uh -huh. Now, as the leading developer of the Guardian Anti-Cheat, which by the way, is currently working flawlessly in other games, as Call of Duty had their chance to work with me, now that chance is gone. All right, Anyhow, bro. having worked with Symantec on their double firewall and helping to detect and quarantine suspicious files, I can confidently say it's impossible to gain backhand access to the. Oh, here, call of shame. Pause, bro. Eee, eee, eee. Pump the brakes, dog. Come on, man. Like, but does your cheating, anti-cheating, actually works though? We need to. We need to. We need to know. Does it actually tools. work? Even a moderator from, say, Raven, can only kick or shadow ban sometimes from the front end. Temporary bans can be issued with a timer, but that needs to be done at the back end, as with permanent bans. Uh -huh. Things such as Splat is specifically designed to catch streamers, and it will only activate when a cheater is confirmed by Ricochet. It's designed to troll. But, but cheaters never get confirmed by the the Ricochet, though. You know, the Ricochet never can ban anybody by the looks of it. The Ricochet is uh, like on its uh, last. Uh, it's coping. Like, let's be real. Like, players, Ricochet just does not work. Streaming. Huh? It's similar to when players go invisible. Let me explain. I Yo, that used to happen a lot back in the days. I've never seen anybody go invisible right now. Recently made a video about Nitro Luke being caught by the Ricochet anti-cheat. He was caught using cheat software. He was shooting at invisible players. Cloaking has been in the game for some time, but recently received an update to work with the latest cheats. Modern Warzone tweeted out a similar story. FaZe Fish even confirmed it. So if you're kind of confused on <laughs> why they, they're disappearing... Yo, Swag recently got caught cheating, actually. Yeah, we did a video. I will link you at the end, so definitely stick around for that. He got caught... <laughs> he deadass got caught in bombing, though! Yeah! In, in the very beginning of the video, I'm, like, kind of skeptical, right? Because I was watching it live, and then, like, towards the middle, it's like... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And we had LAN event clips as well, where he was scratching his head so much that... Sigis were saying, like, bro, like, stop scratching your head like that. You're gonna go bald! Uh, uh, people were saying that, and uh, he ended up uh, getting caught cheating as though he was using wall hacks and aimbot combined. You, I'll, I'll link you that video, and, and y you'll see what I mean. It's mainly because the the ricochet put in a new kind of like way to combat cheaters um, by making like them disappear. So that's kind of where it is. Okay. Okay. Oh please. Oh no! Don't promote your anti. It is now like... alleged that Douglas Raw has also been caught by ricochet. Oh, I've already exposed this guy. Yeah, uh, Modern Warzone has been tweeting a lot about him recently. ...for being back banned in Counter-Strike. This cheater, who often plays with the usual scumbags I feature on this channel, has a very shady past. It's like Warzone is the go-to place for cheating streamers. 
War Warzone is a safe haven. I've been saying it, guys. Come on, man. Am I wrong, though, Chad? I know you guys want to say wrong. wrong. This is wrong, bro. Wrong, bro. But, but, guys, come on, man. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, guys. And smash a like button as well, guys. Bruh. If you're awake, smash a like button. In fact, this guy is actually back banned on another game. But he's allowed to play on Warzone with no questions asked. Is it any wonder why he found his home in Call of Duty? He also admitted to previously using cheat software. This streamer was live at the time my video was published. He was questioned by his simps regarding my claims he was banned for cheating. Man was watching Call of Shame video when Call of Shame was watching him. Oh my god! god. Uh, this is why I would never live stream myself of watching Call of Shame videos because I don't want him to watch me watching him. <laughs> Cause you, you feel what I'm saying? Like it just come on, man. Like how oh, that doesn't you know? We were watching like Liver King video from Jamari the other day, and it's like Liver King was uh, getting the egg right from the chicken, and he was eating egg right in front of the chicken. Bruh. Those of you that were there on the stream, you know what I mean. Like it was hilarious. It's like never eat egg in front of the chicken. This is why I'm using the same logic. Bruh. I'm never gonna watch Call of Shame video when Call of Shame is watching me because yeah, you know, yeah. By the Valve anti cheat. The streamer had no place to hide. What about back fan for on Counter Strike? Oh, Keep on Counter Strike. C. C. C Senor. That was a cheater. Lol. And Lol. then I was like, that one time I was like, hmm. Let me just see what they're all about. <laughs> the next morning I logged in. Back fan. This is called bang to rights. When Call of Shame says something, it's factual. I am only uh, here to expose corruption. Uh, sometimes uh, you can also be wrong. wrong. But we love your work, homie. We love Fraud your work. and cheating. Not to lie and deceive anyone. But they uh -huh. love to tell you that. And just to be clear, the profile also matches. For those that don't know, VAC stands for Valve Anti-Cheat. To my horror, the simps then started to actually justify cheating among themselves. Claiming of that course. cheating can actually make... Of course, man. Like, come on. Let's be real, though. Let's, uh, let's actually... Think about it, okay? Let's use our frontal lobe for a second here. Obviously, the cheaters are gonna defend each other, right? Because nobody else is gonna defend them, so they gotta defend uh, themselves, right? You guys watching, you, gotta, you, you, you guys watching, you're gonna be up on their ass. I'm gonna be up on their ass. Call of Shame, you already up. I mean, you're inside the ass. Let's be real, dog. Like, so uh, somebody gotta take in charge. They're gonna defend themselves. The better player. Oh, they have a CS Gideon, and he downloaded cheats when he was like 12. Learn rotation design. Yeah, I did. What? It made him. What? Play. Oh, they have a CS Gideon. And he downloaded cheats when he was like 12. Learn rotation design. Yeah, I did. It made him a better player. That thing. This streamer posted a lie about me on social media. He pretended I exposed him for Warzone I I gameplay, in play. which he was running around with a UAV, and claimed this was the footage in which I stated he was cheating. Imagine cheating as a 12 year old. 12 year old and uh, i'm not sure if it's the same guy or not but we previously did a video where you know a streamer came out said that he started cheating as a 12 year old and it made him a better player i believe that it was the same guy w what we doing here man like we're doomed like if 12 year old people <laughs> they're coming out of their mom's coochie and it's like they they want to buy them like a cheat cheat device and start cheating in the game it's Jover, guys. It's Jover. The end. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Repent now, guys. Repent now. Repent now. As many of you who saw my video, you will notice this was never mentioned. The only claim I made is that this streamer was banned on Counter Strike, which was accurate. The okay. fact this person would do this tells me everything I need to know about these streamers. Of course, the blind oh, mice no. were easily oh, fooled. No. No, but this no. is a great example to show everyone just what these Warzone streamers Nah, bruh, so he basically made a post, I remember this, like, he made a post and said that, like, I'm not cheating, and then guess what, in their replies, uh, Mad Dog was like, what game did you get whack banned on? They're like, and the people that follow oh. them. CSGO. BOMBOCAD! Self-snitching, guys. <laughs> Self-snitching, here we are. <laughs> here we are, man, you, you cannot fix stupid! They should never, never be trusted. However, the streamers didn't like it. They completely ignored the fact he has been previously banned and admitted to using cheats. Streamer World went into panic mode and caused the COD shill Modern Warzone to tweet out complete lies, stating he has spoken to Call of Duty and they confirmed he was not cheating. Call of Duty devs never speak about individuals caught cheating. Nadia already confirmed that, in a recent video. 
She stated that strong, independent, mm -mm, need no man. Men are always just so wrong. 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 Call of Duty will never come out and say a streamer does not cheat because they can then turn around and just start cheating. Yo, to be honest, that kind of makes sense, right? Because uh, it's one of those situations with like Tim the Tatman, Nick Merix, uh, you know, they they would rather have like a uh, hey, 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 they would rather have like BBC bundles from like uh, you know imaginary characters rather than like having YouTuber skins or like other people skins or people that I mean, to be honest, it's not just. I think they don't want to have influencer skins right now. And a lot of you would say that I agree because I agree. That's like, you know what? On this one, I agree. Okay, yeah, fair. Drop a like if you agree. But like, they it kind of makes sense because it's that they might associate themselves with them. And they come out and say, yeah, that guy does not cheat. But it's like, they don't know, right? Nobody knows. Maybe like five years from now, these things might start cheating though. These things might be like, okay, I cannot beat them. Let me join them. You do not join, guys. This is, there are times when if you cannot beat them, you join them yeah sure but this is not one of those times it's never gonna be those d times where you <laughs> you join cheaters uh, don't do it don't do it man modern warzone has a history of covering up for streamers he covered up for wagnificent when he was permanently banned he covered for cheating streamer five by five i saw my account was perma banned and i'm like excuse me and he excuse also me. covered for perma banned streamer nadia anything that modern warzone tweets about is complete and utter rubbish he Damn. also lied to the entire community. He made it appear that Call of Duty was amazing, so everyone goes out and buys Call of Duty, despite knowing their game was terrible from the start. Spoiler alert, Warzone streamers lie to you. I am extremely sorry to my following and to my audience. I did know from the get-go that this game was not going to go over well, and I am extremely sorry to anybody and everybody because if guys if we gotta have an emergency meeting immediately okay so what do you think on this one now i'm an easy going guy okay i'm an easy going guy listen man i i feel like that people can make mistakes and they can evolve and become better guys come on man i i believe that the homie had a change of heart i think the homie got a golden heart though Bruh. and i think the <laughs> I, not genuinely come on guys like I think the homie had a change of heart and he made the mistakes in the past and he's like uh, later on he's he actually came clean and he spoke the truth uh, so in my books it's kind of all right but like I know some of you like uh, nah school like I'm never gonna forget never gonna forget I, I want to know your take on it be genuine you don't have to agree with me you don't uh, you can disagree with me is what I'm trying to say Bruh. yeah you, you don't have to agree with me but obviously it's like the Call of Duty cycle right this year I think the leaks are looking good right now, right? With Black Ops uh, Gulf War, Bruh. the new game. I made a video on it, but l let's be real. Let's be real. The leaks are always good. Whenever the game comes out, they're always trash. I guess you already know that, but we're going to be having the same season again. So it's, uh, I, I, I guess we're going to find out. But if, it, if genuinely though, if Call of Duty 2024 turns out to be good, I'll be happy. Like, I hope it's good. I guess I, all of us want to see the Call of Duty game be good though. There's probably one of one or two of you that like no bro I wanna I wanna see it burning to the ground. Uh, but here's the thing though, like we had five bad games. I get it, like all of us wanna see some bad games for memes, but once you have five bad games in a row, when every year it's like bad game after bad game after bad game, come on man, at least one good game, right? This year, I think we can have a good Call of Duty game. Next year, we can have a good Call of Duty game as well. And then, you know what? In two years from now, we can have a bad game. Bruh. Fair? Like the video if that's fair, guys. If, you know, Warzone fails, then I didn't know what I was going to do as a creator, so... This is not admirable. This is pathetic and very weak. Make no mistake. These streamers agree, used but... to populate the game to get views for their content. What you are witnessing here is someone who got paid to influence your decision. Now, I, I do agree with that. It's like, yeah, they, they did use, but... <laughs> oh, man, the Call of Duty community, man. We love this community. Realized what he did was wrong and is now sorry for what he did. Dance on fire. You see, Infinity Ward do not bow down to streamers like other studios. I, I think, okay, listen, I, I feel like that the homie had a change of heart and he did correct his mistake by coming clean. But see, the problem with this one is that a lot of people would have bought because of Charlie Intel's take and Modern Warzone take on the game. And then it's like, if you bought because of these seconds and you enjoyed the game, fair, that's different though. But if you bought the game over these seconds and you hate the game, I get it though! Bruh. 
I understand. I understand where you're coming from, and if you're like you're not, if you're if that's the reason why you cannot forget them, I get it though. But it's like I now you gotta take this as a learning lesson. I always say this, dog. Even if I say the game is good, don't buy it. Liter seriously though. Uh, everybody's different though right like don't buy a game because of my reviews or i don't even do reviews but like don't even buy games based on other people's feelings you know people move on the fields people react to the feels rather than the reels you know so you want to be reacting to the reels rather than the feels if that makes you sense. develop the game and you play it it's not the other way around since when did these lines become blurred i don't know about you but the way these streamers try to patronize the Call of Duty community infuriates me. Here is yeah, Joe Wo uh -huh. and Zelaner explaining how fantastic they are and how they only keep dying because the developers will not let streamers help them develop the game. I understand it's a casual game. I understand some people don't have time to put in all the hours and they want to just sit and that's back okay. and have a good time. And that's totally fine. That skill based matchmaking is protecting them. That's perfectly fine. Match ma 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 matchmaking is keeping you safe. You're good to go. You're going to play against people on your similar level. Not all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Sometimes you'll slide into a demon lobby. It's an I Say whatever, but like anybody that says that skill based matchmaking got to go, I'm automatically on your side, bro. I'm automatically on your side. <laughs> like, listen, Chad, like if. If you're in the comments right now, okay? If you say, remove skill-based magic, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Yeah, if, if me and you, we go together, boys. We go together. But obviously, like, if you cheat, then I'm gonna be like, yo, pump the brakes, though. I right, chill. L l l I ain't gonna hold you, though. But I agree on the part that where you talk about, hey, remove the skill-based magic. But then don't go around and, like, cheating in the game and, like, dropping nukes on, like, disabled players like your name was Korean Savage. Like, come on, dog. Like, don't start. It's like, it's one thing to ask for no skill-based magic, but it's another thing to, like, hack in the game, cheat in the game, and... <laughs> Drop nukes on the bot players while cheating. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's different. The algorithm, though. it's supposed to try to get you in those lobbies. But sometimes, you know, the, the maybe the servers are a little lower. Not enough people are online. It just, it does its best. You know what I mean? You choose to stream. Nobody asked you to. So, when will you streamers understand? The developers do not need, nor want your help. You're nothing but parasites in this community. Guys, Swag got caught cheating in the game game botting while hacking we had land event clips as well click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there this is a banger y'all I, I i if you miss it out man you're missing out big time check it out